do not let go of your salat, brothers and sisters. Whether you're at the university, pray your salat. At work, pray your salat. You're traveling on the plane, pray your salat. Don't let go of your salat. Shaitan sometimes comes to us, especially when we are youthful. When we are youthful, we're strong, we feel that we are invincible. Sometimes he'll take us away a little bit. That might happen. When that happens, God forbid, if that happens, God forbid, then still maintain your aqidah, maintain your salat. Still do your salat. Don't let go of your salat. That salat, inshallah, one day will bring you back to the salat al-mustaqim. That salat will bring you back. Now, some people tell me, Shaykh, but my salat is really meaningless. I mean, I say, Allahu Akbar, I don't even remember anything of my salat. What kind of salat is this? I say, it's okay. It's a start. It's a start. It is better than nothing. It's a start. The mere fact that you are doing something, let's say you're studying, and the mere fact that you say, you know what, time of salat, salat is going to become qada, for example. You've delayed it, but you, you want to pray it. So, you know what, let me go pray my salat. You go, you do your wudu, and you stand facing the qibla, and you say, Allahu Akbar, that in itself, something that shaitan hates. Because you remembered Allah. You remembered Allah. So the quality of that salat is not the greatest, but you need to work to improve it. Improve it. It's okay. Don't say, shaitan will come to you and say, what kind of salat is this? Forget it. You know, you better, might as well not pray at all. No. That's what he's trying to tell you. You say, no, let me continue, but let me next time, I'll try to pray a bit sooner, a bit more closer to the time. I will try to concentrate better. So try to improve the quality of that salat. But never let go of your salat. Salat is very important. Especially if you can, try to pray it on time, on time. When the time of salat comes, pray on time. I had a, pr a brother one day, the other day, came to me. He said, Sheikh, I go to university and I'm unable to pray because I'm at the university. So I go back home, I pray dhuhr, asr, qada. I said to him, it's haram, you cannot do that. And I told him, what is the argument? I told him, I studied in university for more than 10 years. And I did not miss my salat because I was at the university. So what kind of an excuse do you have? What excuse do you have? In fact, I was teaching once a chemistry course, a chemistry lab, that was four hours long. It started at 12.30, it finished at 4.30, which was exactly the time of Salat. Salat started at 12.30, and by 4.30 in the winter, it becomes Qadha. I used to go do my wudu, come, teach the students the lab how to do it, set them up, they get them going, and then I'll tell them I'll be back in five minutes. Just please make sure you don't blow something up here, you know, while I'm absent. You know, just be careful here. And I'll tell one other student or teacher to please make sure you supervise. I go quickly, do my dhuhr, come back. Then monitor them, supervise them, teach them, educate them, keep going with them, get them to a stage where they're going. The reactions are cooking, as they say. Then I go back, finish my asr, and I come back. What excuse do you have not to pray Salat? Pray Salat on time. So always don't let go of your Salat.